YouTubers, what's up? Fragbox TV, that's it. That's the name. That's what we're going with. Tia's upset. No. Tia, Tia doesn't like the name. Sorry, Tia. Okay, whatever. Fragbox TV, that's what we're going to call this thing. Okay, so today's video, I just want to quickly... Lucio, Lucio, what up? Out there in Italy, I, uh, I got your email and Lucio is running the same lights that we're running that we absolutely love here in the store. It's the Hydra 32 HDs by Aqua Illumination. Absolutely in love with these lights. It lights up this tank really nicely. I was thinking to do the 64s, but we knew we were going to do a little bit more LPS, less on the hard coral, so you don't need the crazy, crazy intensity, crazy amount of light. Like the 64s is a lot of power. And this tank is also quite shallow. It's only 18 inches tall. It's 30 inches wide and 42 or 44 inches long. We've been running the lights for a couple months now. Really, really impressed with the color. Um, growth, color, overall, health of the corals, everything. I'm, I'm really impressed with them. These and the, uh, uh, these are the Aqua Illumination. These and the Radeon XR15, I would say are the two best lights on the market today. And the proof's in the pudding. The corals look good. Everything's happy, healthy, growing. So getting sidetracked. As usual, I'm just going to quickly show you how we're running the lights and the program that we've decided to set. Uh, if you want to maybe replicate it or, or copy ours that we have here in the store, but this video is for you, Lucio. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the app. So this is the lovely Aqua Illumination app. You can see how many other products we're using here in the store. We have uh, Primes running, we have another Prime running, we have Nero on top of Nero on top of Nero. Like, we really, really like this brand and this stuff. This is not a review video, but I'm just gonna show you the app is super easy. So that's our display tank in the store. And let's see how we're running it. We got two of them running. So we'll go schedule. Oh, no, sorry, lighting. I can't even remember what we're running. This is a while ago that we set it. So they come on at 12 and they run until 8 p.m. So they're running for eight hours. And I usually like using this over here, the easy setup mode. So just hit that. Um, set the times. It doesn't really matter um, when you run them. I think eight out eight. Oh, it looks like maybe we're doing ten hours. Like one hour ramp up, one hour ramp down, and then those are the colors we've gone and and chosen. So you can see UV is overdriven to 111. Violet. I think I just took them and like slid them as high as they would go. We have the blues quite high, and then very little on um, on red and green. Like we run most of the tanks here in the store. I'm not. I don't know if you really need them. We don't. We don't use them. I think you might run into issues with algae growth and stuff like that. But the corals seem happy and fine, very low levels. And then a little bit more white than I think some people would use. But that's gonna be uh, personal preference. That's all up to you, really. Um, why do I say that? Uh, just because of Dylan's tank over here. I'll quickly show it to you. It's really cloudy. He just fed the Red Sea um, Reef Energy, so it's not normally this cloudy. But this tank's been running for a year with only blue lights. The corals look amazing. The stuff's healthy, happy, growing polyps are out so I'm not convinced that you need um, white light for most corals maybe for SPS corals you're gonna want a little bit more on the white um, but yeah that's basically how we run it um, there's a little bit of personal preference that goes into it too like you actually have to you have to like it when you look at the tank this is the spectrum that's um, visually appealing to my eyes I think it's a little bit wider than what most people would like but maybe this video should be a par video have we done one no we should do a par reading to actually show you you know what? We have a par meter here. Why don't I just go ahead and stop the camera? Let me go grab it. Top of the aquifera here. So that's uh, about four inches under the water. We're getting readings of, see if I can focus, sorry, 350. That's perfect for, for aquiporas, for almost all species. 300, 400. Some can take a little bit more. Uh, move over to the hammers over here. Let's see. So that looks like it's about, I don't know, 10 inches away from the light and about six inches down. We're getting readings of 200, which is very good for LPS. Let's try the sand bed maybe over here, or maybe where the clam is. Maybe happy clam. So Clammy's getting par of 100, 120, which is uh, good, I guess. He's been happy and growing ever since we threw him in. Let's see the sand bed go right down to the bottom, kind of where the zoas are. I find that if you get par of about 100 on the bottom, um, the rest of the tank just kind of works its way out. Yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly what you want first sort of softer corals, LPS. Um, yeah, so go ahead, copy the schedule if you want. And if you got any other questions about running these lights, I'm happy to do uh, another video or whatever you wanna know. Okay, I think that's a wrap for today's video. Um, Fragbox TV, that is now the official name. Very, very sad to see this poor guy go. We lost our carpenter's ras. He went for a jump. Maybe we should do a review video on the best lids. Um, 
um, because this should probably have a lid if we're going to keep adding grasses. But yeah, as usual, you know, name, number, email, website, all that, end of the video. I will leave you guys today with this beautiful long tentacle plate coral. Really nice, yellow, wavy, kind of looks like a torch, almost like a, a golden torch, but none of the aggression that you get from torches. There's another small one over here. Uh, he's hiding. Anyways, thanks for watching. Happy reefing, guys. This is officially Fragbox TV.